हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सिविल लाइन माय सेल्फ मिलन पटेल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट एलजे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस व्हाट इज इंजीनियरिंग व्हाट इज सिविल इंजीनियरिंग एंड वेरियस ब्रांचेस ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इन टुडेस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न the roles of civil engineering scope of civil engineering and impact of infrastructure development on economy of the country so without wasting much time let's start first we will discuss about roles of civil engineers for any type of projects related to the basic field of civil engineering a civil engineer has to perform various duties first civil engineer has to carry out surveying and leveling for preparing maps second task is to carry out soil investigation for the design of foundation of structures next is to carry out planning of the building based on fundamental principles of planning and other construction regulations next is to analyze and design of structures based on principles of loads acting on the building next is to carry out quantity survey and to prepare estimate to know the probable cost of the projects next is to invite tenders and selecting the contractors then after civil engineer has to supervise work during execution and ensure progress of the work next is to implement management techniques for better management of man material machine and money next is to carry out valuation of land for purpose of finding its sell or purchase price and the last is to demolish any structure is also the role of civil engineer now we will move to our second topic which is scope of civil engineering it is divided into two parts first is according to field of work area of services and type of structure and second is according to function of civil engineering first discuss according to field of work area of services and type of structure here you can see the building instruction construction of heavy structures geotechnical engineering transportation engineering water resource engineering environmental engineering and town planning it means this all are branches of civil engineering which already discussed in last lecture second is according to function of civil engineering which basically done on table or in the office in first is surveying it is used for setting out of works and for preparing map of land measurement of distances and angles are taken with surveying instruments like chain tap theodolite compass total station and gps etc second is planning of residential building for that planning of different units according to their functional needs should be should be done say for example buildings are constructed to create living space and roads these are constructed for transportation of vehicles over them so according to that we have to plan the structure first next is structure analysis and design it is carried out by first preparing model of structures in software by selecting the type of material like concrete or steel and then applying probable loads on the model of structures to check whether it is capable to resist or transfer the loads properly without damage or not by that we will fix the sizes of beams columns etc this is called as structure analysis after structure analysis designing of structure components can be done according to designing principles next is professional practices which includes estimating costing 
construction and contracts estimating is all about data of drawing specification and rates costing is to know actual expenditure in the payment of bills to the contractor and many other expenditures after estimation and costing we can start construction by inviting tenders and selecting contractors for that we have to prepare contract document which is then signed by contractor and builder now next is construction management which includes planning and scheduling construction execution and supervision planning and scheduling is procedure of fixing order of execution of different activities during construction for that the methods like bar chart and critical path method are used and before construction it is required to carry out the actual expenditure of the construction and while construction it is required to supervise the progress of the work as per the plan design and specification and condition of the contracts now next is quality control and research which is carried out before and during the construction before construction we have to find the best possible materials or methods which is cost effective in overall project and while construction we have to assure the qualities and properties of material or construction execution is as per standard or not and the last is maintenance of structures which is carried out after completing the construction work structure needs maintenance and proper care repair works are required to protect the structures to make them free from the effect or effect of damage some maintenance works are carried out annually like white washing and painting now we will move to our last topic which is impact of infrastructure development on the economy of the country so what is infrastructure it is the basic physical and organizational structures and facilities needed for operation of society or country it covers facilities like water resource project power generation transmission and distribution telecommunication and postal facilities banking facilities science and technology transportation etc it is the backbone of nation's progress it is the main engine of economic progress for economic and industrial development of nation infrastructure development is a basic and prime need well developed infrastructure facilities attracts foreign investments and industries which is the key to development of any nation there are two ways to measure infrastructure development first is per capita income it is the average income of normal residents of a country in a particular year per capita income is equal to total income of the country divided by population of the country second is gdp which is gross domestic product it is the value of all fixed goods and services at price prevailing in the market produced in the domestic territory of a country during a given year due to acceleration of progress of infrastructure projects overall development and upliftment of common people can be done thus the infrastructure development is the key to economic development that's all about this lecture i hope you all understand the topic of introduction to civil engineering see you soon in the next lecture thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel civil line